Hello everybody, in today's video I will teach you how to make cool Discord bot embeds. So let's begin right now. So we will start by importing our messages embed class from discord.js package. Once embed new message embed, then our message embed is created. Now let's make our embed prettier. This discord.js and some name. If you want to add that, you just have to do dot set author. First of all, you have to provide the name. For example, you can do something like so it will be equal to the person who used the damn command. And then comes the icon URL. This discord.js thing. For example, you can just do this thing will be replaced to the user avatar. And now you can see this some name thing have an underline. This means it is a URL for adding that url you can just do string and then you can add some url this some titles to dot set title bam you have a title hello and now we have our title and you can see this title is in blue color and this means it is also a url if you want to add a url to your title just do dot set url and you have to provide a url now our title is a url you might want to add a description you just have to do dot set description and you can add a description and a cool trick you can just add these brackets and some text inside and then the circular brackets and a url small image right here or this big image right here dot set thumbnail for this small image and inside the thing you have to provide an image url dot set image for adding this big image right here let's test out if our thing is working or not so you can see it says shishui san and it is a url and it takes me to google.com and then we have this image in our thumbnail and hello this is a cool title and it takes me up to my studio.youtube.com and then we have the description hello this is a description for a youtube tutorial of crazy dev and guess what the text is a url now and you can go to my fiverr.com thing and we have a big image which says Hiru san left the community you can see the embed is looking pretty good and we can add more cool things like we can add a coolest color dot set color and we can provide hex code of our color or we can just choose one of these colors then we will add some footer footer thing refers to this some text some footer text right here in our footer first of all we have some text and then comes the image icon url so i will add this thing in the icon url now i will do slash embed to show you the new embed Everything is same but we have a good color it is command user shishui san and we have this image right here so now you know most of our embed things but now comes the fields you can add a single field by a dot add, add field and then you have to provide the name and then we can provide a value and then comes the inline thing whether the field should be inline or not and let's don't add anything if we don't add anything it is equivalent to adding false and then we have this add fields thing in this we can add multiple fields at once we have to provide an array of fields and then the these brackets now first of all we have to provide the name the name will be cool field one and then we have the value and then we can set the inline thing to true and then let me add couple more embed so now we added a lot of fields and now let me show you the result so if i do slash embed now we have a different thing we have our test field and then this thing is set it to inline false that's why the other embeds start from a new line and the cool field three is also set it as inline false so that's why it is starting from a different line so that's how you can add multiple fields and i think we can add up to 26 fields so guys in our embed we have couple of limits like only 25 fields are allowed and the footer text is limited to 2k characters and the total characters of our embed cannot be more than 6k characters please make sure that you are not exceeding them for example guys you can have a file so what i have to do is i have to simply remove this image thing and i have to do attachment colon slash slash and then i have to provide the file name it will be e dot jpg simple thing and now let me restart and show you the result so you can see the image is changed to e.jpg it is pretty simple thing and that's how you can add your attached image to your damn embed so guys now you can easily make so guys doing all of these dot set author dot set title it is really boring bro why will you do that much thing when you can do something like this let me show you for example i was adding this embed i can just remove this and i can add these brackets now i have to add an author right so i will do author and then colon and bracket so now i have to add the name so the name thing will be the user's username and then comes the icon url for that case i can just do icon url is equals to this and then comes the url of the thing so i will just do url colon and the string will be this url and now we will add a title for that i will just do title and then some string and then we have to add a url for our title for that case we will just do url colon and, and then we have to provide the url and now let's add a description we will just do description and we have to say cool stuff like we did last time and now comes adding a thumbnail we can simply do we can simply do thumbnail and then we have to provide the url of the thumbnail and that will be attachment slash slash e dot jpg i will do the same thing for our image and then we can add the color of our embed we will just do color and we will add dark orange and then comes the footer so we will just do 
do footer and then we can add this thing this thing might be a bit confusing but please trust me if you learn this thing properly making embeds will be a child's play for you so now i have to add the footer i will first of all provide the text and then comes the icon url i will just do icon url and then we are going to provide and then we are going to provide this url so guys now only the field thing is remaining but before that let me show you the result our embed is ready oh. So guys now i will teach you how to add the fields so guys first of all you have to type fields obviously fields is going to be an array so we will add these brackets and then comes the thing do you remember our add fields thing it is absolutely similar we have to add these brackets and then we have to provide the name and bam that's all we have to do so let me just copy these fields and paste them i will just do slash embed and bam the thing is added the fields are added and by the way guys i forgot to tell you about one thing timestamps so we can also do dot set timestamps in our embed thing so guys if you do the dot set timestamp thing what will happen is your embed will have this today at 10 51 thing and guess what you can do something like day now minus this so guys we can provide our time in time in milliseconds and then the time will be changed let me just show you what i'm trying to say here so if i do slash embed now it says today at 115 because i decreased this much time so guys the thing is you can just add the time here and bam the timestamps are added and now let me show you how you can do it in this object thing so you just have to do enter and then the timestamp and you have to provide the time you can just do date dot now so i will do slash embed and yep it works it says today at 10 52 so that's how you can play around with your embed and please let me know if you want me to teach you anything else i will love to make a video on that until then bye and if you have any query message me on discord bye bye